Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, good morning. The FDA recently approved a new medication to treat women who have gone through menopause and men who have HR positive or HER2 negative advanced breast cancer or metastatic breast cancer. This milestone marks the first time physicians are able to test advanced or metastatic breast cancer patients for a particular mutation and develop personalized treatment plan. Joining us now are Dr. Kakalmani, UT Health, San Antonio, MD, Anderson Cancer Center, and Shirley Mertz of the Metastatic Breast Cancer Network. Doctor, why is the FDA approval significant? It's significant because this is the first drug that we have available for this type of breast cancer. So, in, in, as you mentioned, the most common breast cancers is estrogen positive HER2 negative breast cancer, and 40% of those breast cancers have a mutation, a change in it in the PIK3CA. Uh, now, these cancers tend to be more aggressive, they tend to not respond too well to other treatments, and PICRA is the first in class and only drug that we have available to treat those specific breast cancers. Shirley, same question. Why is the FDA approval significant? Well, I think to patients, uh, first of all, living with metastatic breast cancer, uh, and I should you know, just remind listeners and viewers that um, metastatic breast cancer uh, is not the same as early stage. Uh, in early stage, the cancer cells have stayed uh, are within the breast, and when a cancer becomes metastatic, it means the cancer cells have left the breast, traveled to either the bone, the lung, the liver, and sometimes, unfortunately, the brain. And it, it certainly makes it much more difficult. Um, it, surgery is not uh, a way to solve the problem. And so you spend a lifetime uh, with treatment, and you hope that uh, when a treatment is working, uh, that's great. Uh, you have hope for living, uh, continuing uh, your life. But you know that at some point, uh, the treatment will stop working. And so the fact that the FDA has approved um, uh, PICRE uh, for the subset of patients that Dr. Kaklamani has described is exciting because those patients can have hope if one treatment has stopped that there's another option for them to discuss uh, with their doctor. And um, also the FDA's approval means that the benefits of this drug uh, far outweigh the toxicities. And, and every drug has toxicities, but um, for this subgroup, uh, there's hope that uh, it, it may uh, be useful and helpful uh, to outcomes. Shirley, in your experience as an advocate, how does the HR positive and HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer impact the lives of men and postmenopausal women? Well, um, in early stage breast cancer, hormone positive uh, breast cancer patients usually have good outcomes, uh, at least initially, um, and it is. Uh, hormone positive breast cancer is the most common of the subtypes of breast cancer. Um, it is fed by estrogen and generally in early stage there's uh, hope for a cure. Unfortunately, it is also a subtype that can um, reoccur uh, 5, 10, sometimes 15, 20 years later, which is very frustrating to people who thought uh, you know, they were done uh, with their early stage. So um, the fact that this drug has been approved uh, is important to giving an option um, to patients, as I mentioned before. And this drug is also unique uh, in that it has been approved for men. And I think it's important for uh, people to understand that men can get breast cancer, they do get breast cancer, and unfortunately some go on to develop uh, metastatic breast cancer. So the clinical trials that were held in this uh, for this drug um, were reviewed by the FDA and shown um, that it would benefit uh, men as well as postmenopausal women uh, with this type of subtype of breast cancer if they have um, the PIK3 CA mutation. Shirley, what does it mean to have a new treatment option available for these patients with metastatic cancer and PIK3A mutation? Well, as I um, uh, was trying to allude to the fact that because in the metastatic setting we always depend or hope um, that there will be another treatment for us if, if our first treatment stops working or our second treatment. The fact that this treatment can be used in, in conjunction with another anti-hormonal agent uh, for a mutation that um, is, uh, can be a uh, 
cause further growth is really a positive thing. So I, I think this is a very positive uh, treatment going forward, and I urge uh, patients living with the disease to discuss it with their doctor and see. Uh, it does offer a companion diagnos diagnostic test, and if uh, the patient is shown to have the PIK3 mutation, uh, then they can discuss that with their doctor and consider uh, the drug. Thank you. Doctor, how do the PIK3 mutations affect prognosis and progression in HR positive and HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer? So usually the patients whose tumors have those changes, those mutations, tend to have more aggressive disease and they might be uh, resistant to some of the treatments that we have available, which is why it's so important to have a specific treatment for this subtype of breast cancer. Doctor, can you tell us how this treatment works and what are the risks and benefits? Sure, so uh, this is a, a specialized treatment that works on the tumors that have a PIK3CA mutation in combination with anti-estrogen therapy. So this is a combination treatment. The way, uh, the, the way this is important is because without this treatment, these cancers can progress more rapidly. So, so this treatment can, uh, can delay the progression of this breast cancer. Now, every drug that we give can have benefits, but can also have side effects. PICRA is no different. It can increase the blood sugar in patients, so it's important that patients are monitored for their blood sugars. It can also cause some rash and some diarrhea in some patients. So very important, as Shirley mentioned, that we discuss this with our physicians. I'd like to thank you both for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank have you. a good day. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Did she repeat herself about five times? She asked the same question. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's okay. Is your earpiece okay, Sharon? Thank you. Did you just ask me something? Is your earpiece okay? Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, it kind of pops out, and then I just push it in. But I'll try not to do that while I'm on the TV. Because we can fix it for you. No, it's okay. Thank you. Good job, guys. Nice job with that one. How do people do theater every night? Do you ever think about that? <laughs>